Taco Friday. Whoever came up with Taco Friday here in Norway anyways? Um, do they have some sort of stereotype about what it's like being an American living in Norway? It's just figured, ah, well, it's, it's, gotta, it's Friday. It's got to be Taco Friday. got to have that Mexican food on Friday. Anyway, um, tonight, thank goodness it's Friday. Time for a beer review. Today I am going to be doing up a Belgian ginger, uh, well it's a Belgian ale with ginger and orange. Um, primarily used Pilsner malt and wheat malt. So I don't know if you remember, but a couple months ago I communicated with somebody on the Norwegian uh, forums, uh, Bruin forums, about getting a water report. And I said, you know, I'd be happy to give them a water report. Uh, and if you want to do a beer exchange at the same time, you know, that'd be cool with me. So he's uh, been kind enough to give me uh, a couple other beers that I had reviewed earlier. And tonight I'll be doing a Belgian ale with ginger and orange. All I know about this is it's uh, made obviously with ginger and orange, but it's uh, made up of uh, Pilsner and wheat malt. Um, by the way, if anybody does want a water report done, um, you know, I can do it with the Lamont Brew Kit. So if you want to uh, have your water done and you're here local or willing to send it uh, to me through the post, all I need is about probably half a liter or even half of half a liter, about 250 milliliters. And I could do a, uh, a test for you if you like. So if that's something you like to do and uh, if there happens to be a beer that accompanies it, well, so be it. Let's go ahead, get this cracked up, and get it to the glass, and share the experience. So far, it's looking a little bit like ginger ale. Ooh. Nice and effervescent. Got some nice bubbles ledge on there. It's kind of a medium size bubbles. Got some large bubbles on the top, but yeah, the head's there. At least not dying around too quickly. There we go. Camera number two, look how clear that is. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go ahead and get the aroma. Oh, very, it's like a nice light golden ale with a Belgianist twist to it. I'm getting a little bit of that ginger. It's, it's, oh, it's a little bit of sweetness. And it's like the ginger from a ginger ale, but not quite as powerful from a soda pop just something that you know that's there. Getting a little bit of the citrus, but it's a very nice, very pleasant aroma. Let's go ahead. Thanks a lot, Daniel, for uh, sharing this with me. Cheers. Mm. Nice light body, crisp and clean. Got a, just the perfect amount of sweetness on that. Got the ginger on there that's very subtle, but it's present. And the the orange is just a little bit underneath that. So, right, it's nice light golden ale. Uh, very um, pleasant, very clean, uh, crisp. And then you get the, uh, the ginger and then the orange. Uh, very, very nice beer. I like this. I like this a lot. This would be a nice spring beer. <clears throat> nice beer to have in the spring. It's uh, something that's refreshing. You know, something after like mowing the lawn. Um, or just enjoying the sun after the winter's gone. Spring. <clears throat> wow. No uh, perceived alcohol notes on it whatsoever. Let's see, there's no notes on here about any percentages at all. Um, I think most of his beers were right around four and a half, five and a half. Uh, but yeah. Carbonation just continues to stick around. It's a nice, beautiful beer. Just light, 
refreshing, crisp and clean. Beautiful. Thank you very much, uh, Daniel, for sharing this with me. Cheers.